We're at Danoon Township, Cape Town. 40,000 people live here. It's one of the poorest townships in South Africa. 12-year-old Essa Clay lives here with her single mother. I don't like living here because sometimes here, living here, it's very dangerous. Like there are a lot of criminals and crooks around here. As little as she likes living here, she loves to go to school, especially since she's learning coding in class. The Africa Code Week is making it happen. It's a really unique approach because we're aiming at providing coding awareness and coding workshops to 20,000 uh, children uh, and youth across 17 countries in Africa. We're engaging teachers across the continents, volunteers, and they will all work uh, to empower the children and the future generation in Africa. This is very important to us. Building on the success of Europe Code Week, SCP joined forces with the Galway Education Centre and partners to give birth to Africa Code Week. It's the largest digital literacy initiative ever organized on the African continent. What we're doing is we're changing the whole face of a continent in many ways. We're giving young people um, the opportunity to learn a whole new language that could make a whole difference to their lives and the lives of the continent of Africa. The digital language these fifth graders are learning is called Scratch, a tool developed by MIT that allows a lot of creativity. It engages kids to create whatever they want, whether it's a birthday card, a project they're doing for school, or a cartoon. Scratch is a very fun thing to do and can just invite many, many children to be more interested. Technology helps us a lot because it brings us more experience than we ever thought. Africa Code Week not only brings technology to urban areas, like here to Addis Ababa, Ethiopia. Buses equipped with PCs also tour rural areas in other countries, like Rwanda and South Africa, where volunteers invite children to come and learn coding on board. For our communities, the black communities in, in particular, this is the best thing SAP ever did. And we think that we need to spread it all over so that our kids can be able to, to, to use coding. Africa has the highest percentage of young people in the world and holds great potential. But to offer every child the opportunity to speak IT fluently, more alliances are needed. This is a call to action. For 2016, we absolutely have to work all together and get more partners on board. And all together, I mean, we will change the lives of millions of African young people. Mm -hmm.